Okay, here's my pickups for today. Kind of a light day for Saturday. Um, but it was supposed to rain today, although it's beautiful now. Um, I don't know if I just blinded everybody. But, um, the sun kind of came out and stood out. Uh, it's supposed to rain at 4, so that'll screw everything up probably. As long as it don't rain tomorrow, that's all I care about. Anyway, um, $110. All this stuff. Uh, I went to a bunch of sales. I even went to the flea market, the um, Meadowlands, and I didn't find too much there. I'll show you what I found at the Meadowlands first. Um, now, you know what? Let me do games because everybody wants games for. Okay. Um, yard sale. Brain Boost, Gamma Wave, Brain Age 2, and Brain Age. I paid a buck a piece. These I put four, two for seven, three for ten now. Um, if the covers of these are really clean, I might save them, sell the games loose. I don't even know. You know, I'm, I don't even care. The, those aren't easy games to sell, so um, I'll probably be better off saving the covers in case I need them. Um, Two dollars. I got Ben 10 Alien Force. This is probably a fun game. Um, probably not worth much. And then I got Halo 3 and Time Shift and Plants vs. Zombies. I think I paid s s s five, three, five, seven uh, for these three. Um, at another sale, I went to... The guy had a bunch of DS games, but they were nonsense games, like girl games, and they were all marked like 8 bucks. So um, His deal, though, was like you get a DS, and it turned out to... I thought it was a DS Lite, but it turned out to be a DSi. So I, when he told me the price and everything was complete, he said 25 You get the DS and a game. I'm like, fine, 25 that's fine, because I can probably get... For, even for a DS, I probably get like 40 or so, and then with the game... So I probably get 40, 45, but it was complete, right? But it turns out it was actually a DSi, and it is working. I turned it on. Um, so for the 45, I got the DSi, which I might keep and, and use it for music. Um, I got this Plant vs. Zombies game. It's a fun game. came with the AC adapter, and I didn't really notice this when I was buying it, but it came with two girly games, um, Smart Girls Playhouse 2 and build a bear workshop which is fine um the funniest thing is i might give this to my daughter it came with this this cute little nintendo ds purse isn't that lovely all right um continuing on with whatever games i got today i'll just finish up because i did not get a lot this is going to be a short video today all right okay. damn it okay <clears throat> continuing on with the games i got today um, and then at an estate sale, I went and rooted around in the basement, and they had um, an Unimusha, Onimusha, Onimusha for the PS2. That's a Capcom game. Um, I paid five dollars for um, the Scooby-Doo DVD. That game, um, the Final Fantasy, uh, it's complete, but without the instruction things. So this is an online one. I, you know, I'm not really sure the story. And then he had this uh, Socom U.S. Navy SEALs box with the headphones. Um, no games, which is fine. I don't really care, but I'll give the box to my friend, you know. See? Look how it's corroded crap in there. Dirt. Alright, um, but I got, this was in, this was in, uh, the basement. I picked this up, too. Uh, it's like a network adapter startup disc for the, um, PS2. You know, I always see the network adapters in the back, uh, on the back of them, and maybe people need those, so I don't know. For $5, it, it didn't matter, because I can probably get, uh... I don't know, eight or so for the the uh, Final Fantasy eleven. Okay, so that's it. Games. That's it. Game people. Goodbye. See you next time. Um, moving on. I'll do uh, jewelry. And you know what? I'll do DVDs for my friend. My friend likes DVDs. Uh, Scooby Doo, Toy Story, Charlotte's Web, Shrek, Kung Fu Panda, and check this out. A dog. <laughs> Chewed the hell, and they never even opened it, but the dog got at it. So, uh, if the disc is good, I'll just switch the case. And I'm only going to sell it for a couple of bucks. So, um, I got some CDs. These were like uh, 50 cents. A, no, what were they? they were a dollar a piece. This is one of those things I went to the sale, and I was looking at the DS stuff, and the guy, <sighs> Prince, someone was asking me for Prince, and the guy had um, Fiddler on the Roof. Interesting stuff. Like, the guy had a whole bunch of CDs, but it was like late in the day. I figured nobody would care. Nobody would be there. So I'm going to look at everything else. Talking Heads. I want that one. Uh, Cure. I like the Cure. Eminem. Eurythmics. Uh, so anyway, uh, John Culture. The guy had um, 
all these CDs and a buck a piece, right? And then he had two booklets. So I'm like, ah, I'll look at them when I'm done looking at the games, right? So I go and look at them. All of a sudden, somebody's there. He's pulling out Grateful Dead. He's pulling out all the work. I'm like, God damn it. So I just fished out uh, this nonsense. Then he had two binders, and the binders had a lot of good stuff. But there's another guy there, and he wants to look. So I'm trying to negotiate. I'm like, well, what would you want for the binders? Because I'll pay like uh, 150 uh, CDs. I'll pay like 30, 40 bucks for the binders, and then I'll sell them over time. But the guy wasn't having it. Oh, I don't know. I have to count. I said, okay, forget it. Because at that point, I don't care. You know, I've got binders and binders full of CDs. And, you know, it, the second somebody, uh, I got some books, vegetarian. You know what? Meat is getting so expensive. <laughs> we might be going vegetarian. I don't know. Um, so anyway, the guy wasn't willing to negotiate, so I gave, gave him a business card, and I said, okay, here, look, when you're done, call me, but I, I may have no interest at that point. Got these. Um, these are pretty old, I guess, huh? Walt Disney Productions. So I guess they're like 70s or 80s, maybe. Um, but they're um, Donald Duck. They're patches. I'm not sure on value of those, but they're a buck a piece. What do I care? Um, this is pretty cool. Um, this is like hand carved, heavily carved. It says something like Io Winnitz. Maybe that's the artist. Um, but as you can see, I'm assuming it's German. Um, I don't know a lot about this, but it's it's actually really nice. So I'm going to have to... This was $4. I have to check on this. Um, here's a CD set I got. And this is... I'm going to put this on one of my iPods when I do the flea markets. I can play all like 80s music. You know, it has everybody from the 80s. It's like in the stores and stuff. Uh, Huey Lewis, Aretha Franklin, Point to Sisters, uh, Robert Palmer, whatever. Okay. Um, jewelry. For 20 bucks. This pin, I'm not taking it out and showing it, but it's a nice rhinestone pin. You might be able to see. Blue. It's definitely an old one, but there's a piece missing, and if we lose it, my wife will kill me. So I'm not going to show it to you. Um, gold filled. This is nice, but one of the things has a chip. Um, this is pretty cool. That's glass. Um, a lion. We have people that always want lion stuff. Um, it's kind of a 70s locket. And this is probably the most valuable piece since this one's missing. I mean, if I, but this is like um, a Chinese enamel uh, cloisonne uh, bracelet. Definitely an old one, probably from like the 30s. Um, we'll probably get our money back plus on just that one piece right there. Um, perfumes, and then I'll show you. got some funky art. Oh, I bought this. I, vibration speaker. It might actually be annoying that it's a vibration speaker. I'm going to see if I can not do the vibration part. But, uh, you know, I'm, I think I'm going to keep that that DSi. And, uh, and then I'll, I'll load it with songs. Maybe I'll, I'll use that because my iPod's acting weird, so whatever. Okay, uh, perfumes. I got this. Now, I don't think the Elizabeth Taylor stuff is worth anything, but the lager field should be worth something. And the photo might be discontinued. Um, so I paid $10 for this. I could probably take uh, the eau de toilet and the aftershave out, sell them, and cologne aftershave, sell them as a lot. And uh, then the other perfumes I got um, was, I got four, for $10, I got this. Uh, Gravity might be discontinued. It might be worth something. I can't remember. You know, it's Cody. Emerald, not sure. Preferred stock, not sure. But I figured the Stetson, I'll lot them for. It comes to two ounces of Stetson. Uh, if they're the splash, if they're old ones, I'll, I, worst case scenario, I get my money back. Uh, here's the last thing I got today. Um, it's just some artwork. And these are all kind of, they have like religious, well, most of them have religious themes. And they're kind of cool and funky here. I'll show you the one I like the best. This is why I bought them. For like, uh, they were selling $3 each. <coughs> Allergies. And uh, I wound up getting all of them. There were 10 for 25 And uh, the guy signed his name very clearly. It's A-D-D-O-N-I-Z-I-O. Adonisio. An Italian guy. And I don't know if you can see, but he did like a really detailed kind of spooky face and there's the cross uh, I'm assuming it's just all religious stuff and then he also did so he definitely had a style um, this is just abstract color this I, I know it's hard to see through the plastic but this is just like an, a landscape uh, definitely a religious theme one and it's the same go it's uh, Ray now I got his first name Adonisio and I get apparently he was painting in the 80s and here's another one kind of neat right uh, landscape uh here's a no this is somebody else okay forget that here's the same guy again just abstract colors i guess it's meant to be this way because that's where he signed it oh i didn't even see this one mm, creepy 
I think, you know, this might be part of it. He held the thing with rubber bands down. Yeah, it's rubber bands. So, um, Adonisio, again, I'll have to look up that guy. I, I got a feeling he did have a style. Who knows? Maybe it's worth something. Um, but that's everything I got today.